Hey beautiful, welcome to another video. My name is Namalina and in today's video I will be sharing my weight loss secrets. Please note that these tips will probably work best for people who are based in South Africa simply because the companies are here in South Africa where I am based. Secondly, I'm going to kindly ask and set a very clear boundary that we only talk about the weight loss, the products, my body gaining and losing weight under this comment section only. Please do not DM me, do not email me, please do not comment in other videos when you see me gaining or losing weight. My weight is a very sensitive topic and I would really appreciate it if we can work together to maintain clear boundaries for the happiness of both of us, you know, so that when I continue to lose weight, I can make a second video um, because you guys make it a safe community and a safe place for me to be vulnerable about something that is sensitive to me. Unfortunately, with my previous um, video, there were a few people that disrespected that boundary. I think it's normal to not understand somebody's sensitivity regarding a topic. What I think is unkind and inconsiderate is then to see a boundary that somebody has set and then decide that I don't care. I'm just going to demand that she tells me what she used for weight loss. And I found it quite manipulative that some people will send me emails and DMs. This is actually one of the reasons why I closed my DMs permanently on all social media platforms where somebody would be like, hey, my doctor said I have high blood. I have diabetes. I'm going to die in three months. Please tell me what you used to lose weight. And you know what the crazy thing is? When I did actually just give in and say this person is disrespectful but i'm gonna just get them off my back because they have a very sad story and i'm an empath they did nothing with that information nothing so i would really appreciate it if we respect the boundaries so i started my weight loss journey on the 8th of july 2021 this was around COVID time i thought that i should go back into the gym but after a few you know, sessions and after trying, I realized that the gym is just not for me, particularly a public gym. Um, there were just things that happened that I realized this is not for me. So what pushed me to actually lose weight was I was looking at my back and I could not believe what was happening with my back. The amount of weight I was gaining, my body did not know where to put it. I had so many love handles. I have no idea how many people were supposed to handle me because baby, there were a lot of love handles okay and on top of that my weight distribution was so difficult for my body to figure out that my body had a triangle at the back i had a shape at the back of my body i was like this is starting to look like a grade one coloring book there are lines there are shapes i don't understand this is too much my doctor at the time had kindly warned me about my weight and he had set up an appointment with a dietitian and that did not change anything. What really pushed me was seeing the fat rolls at the back and feeling like, no, this cannot be me. Personally, I feel like God has blessed me with the body shape of my dreams. I have a natural BBL body, I've got a nice bum, nice boobs, curvy, flat stomach. So looking at myself and knowing that there are people who go for BBLs, who take these risky procedures and God has just given it to me and I'm reckless like this, I personally felt bad. Um, I just wanted to honor my body better. And I knew that I'm also struggling with my weight. Climbing upstairs is a little bit more difficult. Doing basic things is a little bit more difficult. I'm unfit and overweight and I really wanted to work on it. So 8th July 2021, I weighed 95 kg. And at my lowest, um, after using all the products and services that I'm about to tell you guys about, I weighed 77 kg. And that was on the 3rd of April 2022 so it took me 10 months to lose around about 18 kg i'm just looking at my notes down here so 10 months for me to lose 18 kg and i was really 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 proud of myself so let me share with you guys which products i use so first and foremost the biggest thing the most important thing that i need to tell you guys is that i did not exercise at all this does not include going to the gym. This does not include going for walks. In fact, I did not have my dogs for quite some time. So I literally was not exercising. If I was to give a name to my lifestyle, I would say it's sedentary. I think that's how you say it. So I barely go anywhere. I barely do anything. So if I can lose this amount of weight in 10 months, 18 kg, you can definitely do it too without any exercise. I can only imagine what you could achieve if you decide to exercise. So the first and most important company is a company called Dinnerbox. Dinnerbox is a company that delivers pre-cooked delicious meals 
straight to your door. I've spoken about them on my TikTok as well. This company has different categories. So you can have keto, you can have low carb. Um, I started off with the low carb um, food and then later on right now I am on their low calorie um, combos. The food is absolutely delicious. I enjoy about 70 to 80% of their meals. Some of their meals, honestly, are just not my preference. I do not enjoy them. At the back of the meals, you will see that they have the nutritional information for each meal and they also have the calories for each meal. So you purchase the meal, it already has the amount of calories that is in that meal. You put it in the microwave and you eat it. It's very, very convenient. Even if you're not on a weight loss journey, if you're struggling with preparing nutritious, healthy food during load shedding, then this is a great company for you because within 10 minutes, your food is ready. They also have food that you can put in an oven as well. They have pizzas, they have soups. They also have breakfast items like um, like croissants, they have smoothies, they have fruit juices as well. They are an all-round food solution. Namalina from the future. So when you download that app, Dinner Box, just search in your Play Store. There are different categories. These are the meals I started with, the low-carb boxes. They come in packages. So here are the different combos that you can choose um, depending on the type of meals that you prefer. So one of my favorite combos was this one. This is gluten and dairy free and you can choose how many meals you want. These 10 meals for 1,045 Rand, these 20 meals for 1,825 Rand and then these 30 meals for 2,670 Rand and they have pictures for the different meals. When you scroll down here, you will see they give you free soups with every purchase that you make. Um, I always tell them not to give me the soups because I don't like them. And then these are the information about the meals. So each combo has different meals in that combo. So this combo has roast beef and it gives you all the information about it. 470 calories, 500 grams. All the meals are 500 grams. Um, then they have traditional chicken curry. They have Thai chicken curry, beef stragnoff and Middle Eastern spiced chicken thighs. These are my favorites, 710 calories. And you can choose if you want 10 if you want 20 or you want 30. If you go back here and you don't like that combo, you can say you want a low carb meal with low calories, okay? And then if you love meat, you can take this one, a low carb meal, that's for people who love meat, meat lovers. And you'll see that each combo has a price. So the low carb box with the low calories, 1,045. The low carb meal with the, for the meat lovers is 1,095 for 10 meals. You can get 10, or more meals if you need more. Then there's um, summer medley pork free. Um, there's oven baked for those of you guys who want like winter um, comfort type of food that's still low carb. Um, they have a winter medley. They have a winter medley that's pork free. So they really try to accommodate everyone and they have different combos. If there's a meal you don't like in the combo, there may be another similar combo that does not have that meal that you don't like. So this one is a low carb red meat free combo. So there's no red meat in this combo and it is low carb meals. 10 of them, 1,045 Rand. So over here you'll see there's 10, 20, 30 meals you choose. 10 is 1,045, 20, 1,825, 30, 2,670. The free soups with every purchase. And over here they give you the details of the meals. Chicken ala king with broccoli rice, 700 calories. Chicken fillet sun-dried tomato sauce, um, 720, everything is stated over here and you can choose what you want. If you choose the 10 meal box, you get two of each of these. If you choose the 20 meal box, you get four of each of these. If you choose the 30 meal box, you get six of each of these and there are other categories that you can choose. It's just, you really have options over here. Unfortunately, they do not deliver nationwide. As far as I know, they deliver to Johannesburg, Pretoria, Cape Town and Polokwane in Limpopo. I think those are the areas. There may be more, but those are the areas that I'm aware of. This is my number one way that I lost weight. They say that the most important thing that you can do when you're losing weight is to be in a calorie deficit and food is the most important thing because you could work out for five hours and lose, I don't know, 600 calories. But if you eat the wrong burger, you could literally eat 900 calories in 10 minutes. 
So the food is the most important part. You don't need to exercise. You should. It's good for you. It's very healthy to exercise. But if you don't enjoy it, you haven't found something you enjoy within like ex exercise, then food is really where you should focus. So if you go in on online for these weight loss calculators, they'll give you an idea that for your age, for your height, for your weight goals, this is how many calories you should eat. So let's say it tells you that you need to eat 1,700 calories. If you're eating dinner box, then you know that, okay, for lunch, my dinner box meal is 700 calories. For dinner, my dinner box meal is 500 calories. Then you know that, okay, I'm left with this amount of calories. I can eat fruits for 100 calories. I can eat one chocolate for 200 calories. You budget your calories for the day. And it really, really helps. Dinner box has completely changed my life. The only thing I wish they would do is allow us to handpick the meals they want because there are some meals that I absolutely hate. I cannot stand them. Um, I wish they would allow us to do that. But I understand that on the logistics side, it's probably very difficult. Dinner box, guys, that is my number one recommendation. Okay, so after that, I needed to sort out where am I going to get my chocolates and snacks because just because I'm on a lifestyle change... This is not a diet, this is a lifestyle change. When I travel to Limpopo, I try and get dinner box in Limpopo as well. Wherever I am, I try to have my dinner box with me. Um, so what am I going to do about snacks? That's when I discovered a website called Caring Candies. Caring, caring, caring candies. Um, this website has keto chocolates and snacks. They have um, low calorie snacks. They have banting snacks. They have so many interesting snacks that are on the healthier side that are better options for you guys. You can also find their products in Dischem as well, but I prefer to purchase directly from their website because they have different brands um, available there. So you can find um, chocolates, snacks, biscuits. They even now launched a little, what do you call it? Like a muffin in a mug type of thing. Fantastic, fantastic, and you can see the calories. So if your budget is 1,700 calories for the day, then you know that you've eaten two dinner box meals. These dinner box meals come in different calories. Some are 300, some are 500, some are 800, but it's very clearly written at the back. Then you know that, okay, I can afford to have two chocolate bars from Caring Candies because it's 70 calories each. It's really, really a fantastic way for you to continue enjoying the snacks that you like and love because... This is a lifestyle change. It's not a diet. You don't do it now and then you leave because you're going to gain the weight back, which is what I unfortunately did. Um, but it's a lifestyle change. You want to do it long term. That means that you stop buying um, the chocolates that you normally buy in store and you focus on the healthier brands that are better for you and that are easier for you to calculate your calorie intake. So then I also focused on my drinks. I have a problem or had a problem of drinking my calories. I would drink milkshakes, which are so calorie dense. It's really, really bad for you when you're trying to lose weight to drink um, these drinks that have tons and tons of calories. So I heard about a company called Pharma Freak from Candy Cane. I don't know if she's still on social media, um, but at the time she had actually mentioned that influencers don't just influence right now. So she was explaining that she could talk about Pharma Freak today and I could only purchase it months later. The brand would have paid her for what she said today, but months later, because of her, I have purchased Pharma Freak. And it's so crazy because that's literally what happened. She spoke about Pharma Freak. I didn't really take it seriously. A few months later, I saw it at Discam and I was like, let me try it out. It's like a water flavor type of thing. Tried it out, absolutely love it. And now look, because of Candy Cane, I'm talking about it on my YouTube channel now. Crazy, crazy how influencing works. But yeah, that's what I used. And then on Carrying Candies, if you want to just purchase everything on one website, especially if you don't have a disc chem near you, there is a brand called Footy Sugar Free Powder Flavoring Sachets. Those are on the Carrying Candies website. Those are also really good. So if you like your juices, then this is also a good option. But Dinner Box as well does have smoothies available. So it's really choosing the better options. Okay, lastly, there's a page on Instagram that I need you guys to follow. They have the most valuable information that I found about weight loss. The page is called Diet Fit Shift. Fantastic. So when I stopped buying from Dinner Box, and I really stopped because I just got tired of the food, they were just 
a lot of meals that I did not like, not a lot, like 30% of the meals that I did not like. So I'd eat all my favorite meals and then I'd be left with like four or five meals that I absolutely hate. And then I'd be like, ah, let me just buy chicken licking today. I'll eat this meal tomorrow, which is really, really bad. That's how I fell off with my weight loss. So this page, Diet Fit Chef, they give you guys the calories for common food. So let's say you want to know if you should have, if you desire to have chicken wings. They will compare KFC chicken wings, chicken licking chicken wings, and then Nando's chicken wings. And they'll give you how many calories each one has. So here is a practical example. Let's say I'm outside. I want to eat from Nando's, but I don't know what the best meal would be. Let's say I have to eat 1,500 calories or 2,000 calories per day to lose a certain amount of weight by the end of the year. When I calculate my weight and everything using the free calculators online, it tells me that I should be eating 2,000 calories per day to lose my weight a certain amount of weight to reach my goal okay so i go onto that page this is about nando's right quarter chicken with the skin is 330 calories then here i can look at the different sli uh, sides if i want a mealy meal it's 78 calories if i want the salad it's 95 calories the coleslaw is 200 calories and then the rice is 210 calories. So I can say, okay, I do definitely want a piece of chicken. Um, let me just take the mealy meal instead of the spicy rice. Because this is going to give me less calories. And I will still have some budget left for chocolate or ice cream. Okay. So here, a chicken burger, 386 um, calories. And then when you look at it, a veggie wrap, 406 calories. If you were just looking at the menu... I would personally think that the veggie wrap has less calories than the chicken burger. Turns out the chicken burger has less calories than the veggie wrap. So this page is like super, super helpful. You're able to see this information. You can still Google it, but I really enjoy the way they display everything, the way they show everything. I absolutely love their content and it really helps you budget. Let's say you have 2000 calories for the day. You could have the veg pita in the morning. You could have the chicken pita for lunch. You could have the veg pita for dinner. And then you'd have like maybe 200 or 300 calories left. I haven't really calculated properly. And then you could have something smaller um, from Nando's if you wanted to. If you wanted some chips, 295 calories. Um, Piri Piri wedges, 270 calories. Piri Piri tato salad, 389 calories. All of these are potatoes. But now you're choosing which potatoes are going to give you um, the most value for your calories. So here you're like, okay, I'd rather take these chips for 295 calories than to take the potato salad because that's 389 calories. I'm still eating potatoes, but the better choice is the chips instead of the salad. And what I learned is that I can always have whatever I desire. So if I want to have ice cream, I am welcome to have ice cream, but I must choose the best ice cream out of the options that I have. So you choose the, the ice cream that has the lowest calorie. If you want chocolate, then choose the chocolate that has the lowest calories. A lot of you guys don't care what it is when you're on a diet. You're just looking for that thing to fill your craving. So let's say you feel like having some Zimba chips, okay? I don't know what you guys call them, chips, snacks, whatever. Maybe there's Doritos, there's Fritos, and then maybe there's lace. You don't care which one you want to cheat with for your diet. You just want to have December. So on this page, they will compare and say Doritos has this much calories, lace has this much, Fritos has this much. Then you choose the one with the lowest calories. And I found this page to be amazing. Really, really educational. Even if you want like a burger from Steers, and you have no idea which burger from Steers is the best. This is actually how I started ordering Uber Eats um, kiddies meals. So instead of ordering the adult meals for McDonald's, I order kiddies meals. For Steers, I order kiddies meals. And that has really, really helped me with my weight loss. Whenever I want to cheat, like I just feel like having ice cream. Instead of getting a big uh, McFlurry, I'll get a little cone ice cream. Just having smaller portions and then educating myself. When I want chocolate, I get a chocolate that has wafer inside instead of like the, what do they call it? There's this other one, not Bawan. Bawan has biscuits inside. The black one, that one has a lot of calories because it has that like, yeah, it has a lot of calories. But if you get a Kit Kat 
or a chomp chomp has very very low calories and you still satisfy that craving um, then that really really helps you so substituting um, these snacks with the lowest calorie and then if you do not want to purchase like snacks from our normal stores and everywhere then you can go to the website carrying candies they are absolutely fantastic they deliver to your door in South Africa so you do not have to go to Discam to purchase carrying candies um, items so right now in the beginning of July I currently weigh 87 calories so I started at 95 calories on the 8th of July 2021 then my lowest was 3 April 2022, where I weighed 77 kgs. I'll see if I can find a video to put um, for you guys. And now, um, on the 1st of July, I weighed myself 2023, and I weigh 87 calories. So I gained 10 kgs back um, from 3 April 2022 to 1 July 2023. So over a year, it took me over a year to gain 10 kgs back which i think is really 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 good i um, mean just shows you that my habits have really improved um and yeah sometimes like i was i stopped eating healthy because i was very sick and i had to take medicine for breakfast for lunch and dinner so i just took that as an excuse to overeat and eat whatever i want because i was like oh i need padding for the medicine which is like what you could eat healthy uh, but that's 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 what i was doing i just really want to make it very clear guys there's no magic to weight loss I think a lot of people, when I was speaking about my weight loss before, they were expecting me to talk about pills or some injection or something that I took. No, no. And it has to be a lifestyle change. There are things I used to do that I don't do anymore. You know, um, I'm really trying to stay away from cappuccinos and coffees. I love cappuccinos so much, but they make me really bloated and I over drink them. You know, um, the normal searches for cappuccinos, I think they're like 80 or 90 calories. So it's not a problem to just drink one. But for me, with IBS, I have irritable bowel, bowel syndrome. Um, I really struggle. I get super bloated. And like my whole body gets bloated. Those love handles at the back with the shapes, I get those again, you know. Um, so there are things I'm learning about my particular body that I'm like, okay, this type of thing I can't do. I also drink a lot of green tea. So in the morning, I have a cup of green tea every single morning. That has really, really, really helped me to uh, manage my cravings as well but guys thank you so much for watching let me know if you have any questions and i will leave all the links for everything editing Lamolina, you better leave the links for everything in the description box i will leave the links for everything that i spoke about um today in the description box unfortunately as far as i know all the companies only deliver within south africa but they're really 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 good places to start um your weight loss journey and ultimately your lifestyle change. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.